Hey everyone, it is late at night and I'm Norman. Welcome to the ninth day of my 30 watches in 30 days challenge. Tonight we're looking at a watch that none of you have seen before. I just recently bought this brilliant piece. This is a vintage Certina watch. So let's flip the camera around and take a look at this brilliant watch. <laughs> Check that watch out. I'm super stoked about this. It just recently arrived. I haven't even done a review of it yet. So this is kind of a first glimpse at this watch. You can see that it has sort of a pull routery vibe to it. I am an absolute sucker for bands around the edge of dials like this and the pull router and the Zodiac Olympos mystery dial. Anytime I see that, it catches my eye, and it's tempting. I like how these indices almost form crosshairs, but yet not. You can see that it's super thin, and it has drilled lugs, which is nice. The case back, so there's kind of the micro scratches all over there, and a couple larger ones where people have tried to take the case back off, it looks like. The case itself is in pretty good shape. I feel like if this has been restored, it was restored quite a while ago because it looks like there's just kind of normal wear on here. If it hasn't been restored, this watch has been babied because this is in great shape. And just look at that dial. Now there's some marks on there, here and there. Those are not on the crystal, those are on the dial. The hands in person actually look really good. I feel like on camera they look rougher than they are. Maybe because of the dark loom that's kind of lingering in there. But here you can see they're actually pretty silvered still. When I took a picture of this shortly after getting it, they kind of looked rusty, but when you see them in person, they don't. I love the super subtle sunburst on there. It really adds a lot to the look of this watch. You see that the crown is signed. It kind of has a similar bezel to my Anacar, where it's just flat, sitting below the crystal. Very cool. Yeah, and this crystal distorts really nicely. So crazy. Alright, so let me take off my Henry London. And we'll see what this watch is like when it's on your wrist. And here is the vintage Certina on my 7 inch wrist. It has such a crazy unique look. Look at that crystal. Nice. That dial is so cool. And I love Delphine hands when they have some details to them. So yeah, these hands look really great. It hugs the wrist really well. Yeah, I'm pretty excited about this watch. It arrived way earlier than it was supposed to, by like a month or so. Sweet. Love it when that happens. So sometime after the 30 days challenge, I'll do a full review of this watch. And probably do a video regulating it because I've put it on the time grapher and it looks pretty healthy but could use a bit of regulating. So there you have it my gorgeous new vintage Certina watch. This is the first time I've ever seen a vintage Certina in person and it's really impressive. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.